just got this book uh, yesterday. It's the Saga on Home Video, Fans Guide to US Star Wars Home Video Releases, Nathan P. Butler. And he's got a great YouTube channel and he talks about all the videos and DVDs, issues of Star Wars and like related m movies like Clone Wars and all that sort of stuff and all the variations and stuff like that. For four decades, the Star Wars saga has captivated us in both theatres and at home on the small screen. Never before has one volume attempted to provide an extensive guide to all themes of the saga's various releases for home viewing. From Super 8 to VHS, from DVD to Blu-ray, 3D, this unofficial guide to US Star Wars home video release will thrill and enlighten both fans, new and old. With over 300 images from the author's own personal collections, this is a definitive work of fan scholarship of Star Wars home video collections first 40 years. In the UK, this is ten pound twenty-seven on that uh, Amazon. So, and it's got quite good images. Very detailed. Has a lot of uh, interesting facts. This guy is very scholarly, as he says in the blurb on the back of this, and um, can mainly talks about US releases. There's a few British oddities and Japanese oddities that he talks about, like the British uh, ex Executor pack, and. Um, which is VHS, the VHS issue of uh, Revenge of the Sith, which was only released in Britain and Europe and uh, Australia, and that's going for a lot of money these days. So you can see that he's got ex an exhaustive knowledge about all these different issues and uh, can really talk in depth about what, why each video, DVD or um, like uh, what are those Japanese big disc things called, why they're worth getting or acquiring, and you know, so you've got to remember that in the US, USA and Britain use different um, formats, so not everything that is re released in the US is going to work in the UK and vice versa, but you know, it's re really detailed, and uh, I haven't even read it, I've just like read the bit about the Return of the Sith VHS and um, let's see here's the maybe this has got the Return of the Sith dot wide screen forever tinkering so if you're into collecting um, DVDs and stuff or anything Star Wars you're going to love this book uh, there's the British uh, oh that's Attack of the Clone sorry but he has got that in this book, which is great. And then stuff about from Malaysia. Um, Rise of the DVD, Demise of VHS. Uh, talks about the, you know, it's just such a great book. It looks like anyhow, and I'm sure it is, because if you ever watch his videos, you know how detailed he is about every video, DVD, Blu-ray, whatever he's talking about, it's just an exhaustive uh, blah blah blah. Not, I mean, he's just really. I mean, for from a Star Wars fan point of view, this is what you you'd want uh, because this guy has just such great knowledge about these things. And um, though it can be a bit technical, it's really just a, a great because. Uh, you know, it's not just the writing's not sketchy or brief, it's very detailed and um, you know, exhaustive, and so it will give you a great uh, background knowledge to whatever what's out there, what's worth collecting, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I mean, going back to those days, you're talking about VHS and Betamax, and uh, wow. I mean, I've always kept my VHS copies of Star Wars, all my uh, DVDs and blah, blah, blah. So I'm quite, you know, just by being a, a Star Wars fan, you tend to, you're going to keep all your copies of Star Wars in its various forms and stuff like that. So I've got, I know I've got the UK issues of, from about 86 of, of Star Wars Empire and Jedi on VHS stashed away. And I've got the widescreen versions on VHS as well and I've got the Executor box set from 95 which is a great set and I've got the 
VHS copy of um, Revenge of the Sith. So this is a really great book. I mean, it's exhaustive. I'm trying to sound, you know, uh, pseudo intellectual myself, trying to use long words and getting it. I mean, it goes up to Rogue One the issue, so that's really great. So it's pretty current. Um, there's a big sleeve issue of uh, Rogue One and um, The Force Awakens that's worth tracking down in the UK. So, you yeah. know. Great book. I mean, this is just so cool if you're into collecting these sort of things or if you're just a general Star Wars fan. So, mainly US issues though. So, if you don't live in the USA, a lot of this is going to be. But I, st I mean, it's still interesting to see how all of this uh, stuff evolved and went on. French and Sift. There's the UK issue of um, uh, Revenge of the Sith, which I've got sealed. So, I mean, I got that for about a quid, you know. And then all the other things you can get, really cool. Quite good images. I know they're black and white, but they're still quite clear. So this is a great book, a work of love, really. And if you just, I mean, even if you don't want to go get the book, just watch the channel and you can watch tons of videos about all these different issues and releases of DVDs and CDs and uh, VHS and laser discs and what what not as you would say so this is a great book so if you're into this sort of thing I'd highly recommend this book I haven't even read it but I know this is going to be the dog's bollocks as you'd say so a fan's guide to US Star Wars home video releases, Nathan P. Butler, £10.27 in the UK, about $12, $13 in the US. This is a great book, uh, even though I haven't read it and I'm reviewing it before reading it, but I just know this is going to kick ass. So this gets a thumbs up from me, and uh, yeah, so it's something you might want to consider. Alright, cheers, bye. Sargon Home Video Fans Guide to US Star Wars Home re Video Releases. I think it's worth getting because if you're a Star Wars fan, you're gonna over time just come. You you just want whatever has been made about Star Wars on to watch at home. And so this is the VHS issue of Revenge of the Sith, the UK version, and you can get this from Australia as well and Sweden and places like that uh, they've got their own issues but I mean if you check on eBay this is going for about a hundred quid almost so you can see this one's still sealed so in, in the UK there's two versions of this there's this version which is the version you could buy and then there's a rental copy in a big box so this is the UK version of Revenge of the Sith, which he talks about in this book, Nathan P. Butler. And then you've got something like this, the unauthorized Star Wars story, which is, this is a British DVD, pal. Pretty, it's a reasonable DVD, I mean, but he'll talk about that in his book. And then there's this, Star Wars vs. Star Trek, the rivalry continues. This is a US release, but it works all over the place. Uh, I think I've got this for a penny. So, you know, these are the sort of things that book will go on about. And if you are a Star Wars fan, you know, this book is, and you're into all the sort of movies and stuff like that, then, you know, and he'll talk about like the Blu-ray or the tinkering that was done with the, you know, like in Return of Jedi with Darth Vader's voice and all that sort of stuff. It's crying out, what, what did he cry? No, or something like that. No! Okay, so, cheers, bye. So, re this gets a good re thumbs up for me, the Star Wars fan's guide to the Star Wars home video. And what's good about it is you can just open it up anywhere and just start reading about whatever um, 
issue or item you're interested in that you may have or may be thinking about getting. Okay, so cheers, bye. And I do mean bye there. Okay, cheers, bye.